welcome to this sample course from Action Training Systems. All of the learning objectives included in the full course are listed on screen. You will be shown a sample of these sections in this demo. A complete listing of our course content is available on our website. For all brigade members' safety during emergency response, you must be able to recognize dangerous conditions. There are two main types of dangerous conditions that occur in a fire building. Conditions that contribute to the spread and intensity of the fire, and conditions that make the building susceptible to collapse. These conditions can put you and your team's survival at risk. First, let's look at conditions that affect the spread and intensity of the fire. Heavy content fire loading is perhaps one of the most critical hazards in manufacturing and storage facilities. This is a situation where there are combustible materials in high piles placed close together. A large pile of combustibles may quickly override the capability of a sprinkler system. The pile may also cause an access problem during fire attack. Combustible furnishings and finishes not only advance fire spread, they also generate large volumes of smoke. Combustible roof coverings must be considered in the fire load because flying embers landing on the surface can add to the conflagration. Wooden floors and ceilings contribute to fire loading in a building, unlike gypsum or concrete, which are non-combustible. Thank you for choosing to view this demo program. For more information about the full line of over 200 course offerings available from Action Training Systems, visit our website at www.action-training.com or contact us at 1-800-755-1440, extension 3.